Hey everyone, welcome to BK Playhouse Halloween edition. Today, we are about to carve this pumpkin using power tools. Then we're gonna take out the guts and we're gonna make pumpkin gut slime. And then, we're gonna do something with these little pumpkins that you probably didn't even know you could do with pumpkins. I didn't know until two days ago. So, here we go. BK Playhouse! Usually you take a knife and you sit here for a long time and you cut off the top of the pumpkin. We are going to use this big bad boy here called the jigsaw. And we are going to cut the hole in the top with That's the jigsaw. Because nice. everything is better with power tools, right guys? Yeah. However, safety first. Do not use power tools without your parents. Thank you. Safety first. Ready? <laughs> All right, let's switch spots. Brayden is up. Nicely done. Let's see what's in there. All right, take it off, guys. Whoa, oh. holy cow. <laughs> holy cow. We need to gut this pumpkin. Do you guys feel like sticking your hands in there and taking out all those guts? No. Since we love doing everything with power tools on this Halloween edition, this thing is super cool, the pumpkin gutter. Check this out. You just need a drill. We need to stick it in the end. I'm so excited, ready? Woo! <laughs> Good job, gut gutter! Now we have two drills into big drill bits here, and the boys are going to start poking some holes and carving their pumpkins. What things on the face do we make with these? Uh, eyes. We can make eyes. What else can we make with these? Nose. A nose. Mouth. Oh, you're looking at that pumpkin. Two hands on the drill because it starts. Things start flying. Here we go. Hold the trigger down tight. There it is. Wow. And reverse it out. Check it out. That is one great looking eye made with a power drill. All right, Caleb, go for it. Pull the trigger. Oh! <laughs> nice job. <laughs> We've got a hole. <laughs> yep, we got a hole. It's on your foot. It's on the GoPro. The GoPro is covered. He's got a really fast drill. <laughs> He's got the cement. <laughs> this one's meant for cement, so it goes pretty fast. Can I do that? We can switch for a minute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got a little, a little bit on your, your eye right there. This I don't one, even know what I'm, co I'm covered in pumpkin. <laughs> Pull it. Oh, okay, okay, Caleb. Oh. Okay, it's hold on a second. Woo! You made, can right? I have, can I have a curious Yeah, you can do a mouth in a second. Right, nice job. <laughs> yes. These look awesome, you guys. Wait, I actually want to do something. What? Can you turn it to the bottom? There's something I want to do. <laughs> that has to do with the trail. <laughs> he wants the bottom of the pumpkin. What are you gonna do, Caleb? I'm keeping my head. I'm going under it. Caleb! <laughs> what is that? This is not, not a hole. Then make. Now make a circle right here. I'm switching sides. What is this? What are you doing? What are we doing? No. Caleb, what is this? <laughs> Things are flying here at BK Playhouse. There. 
Okay. I made it face. is Raiden's turn. There's a I made face on his tushy. Face on his tushy. Now we're gonna put all the guts that flew all around our lab into here so we can make some slime with pumpkin guts. You guys know what this is? Wait, Bra Brayden? Brayden? Oh no, we lost. Oh. Oh. oh, he was just hanging out down there. Oh good, all right. Oh, we lost Caleb. Caleb? Caleb, where'd you go? Oh, gosh! Okay. Um, well, there's some spooky stuff happening here at the oh, Playhouse. This, this Halloween lab is spooky. Um, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to start anyway. I don't know where Caleb went to. Caleb! Oh my gosh, okay. Take your purple bowl and pour the whole container of glue in there. The glue comes out and it looks like a liquid. Glue is actually called a polymer. Okay, so a polymer, the molecules, they form these strands, but they flow right over each other, right? And that's why this is a nice liquid. So see how it's just flowing out? Okay, so this is still a liquid, right? We haven't made slime yet. Glue is a polymer, it's a liquid. We wanna make sure we understand the science behind how slime works. It's cool to have it, but it's really cool to know how it actually works. All right, next we're gonna take this slime activator. Okay, so a slime activator actually has these little things in them called borate ions. Pour the whole thing in, okay, and when this mixes, it went in as a liquid, but the, when the borate ions get between the molecules, they kind of connect onto them and they stretch out when the molecules stretch out, and that's what makes your slime super stringy and stretchy. Get those borate ions in there. Let them hold on in between your molecules of the polymer. Get some of the good stringy orange slime in there. That's why we chose the clear glue, because now we can see all the textures of the pumpkin what? guts. You can mix it up. You're mixing the glue with the reactor. This is where the reaction starts to happen. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Holy cow. So when this was just glue, we couldn't do this. We couldn't stretch it out like this, right? The molecules just flowed over each other like liquid. But now the borate ions are holding them together and stretching out. Look okay. at this. Caleb! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a question. Is this a liquid? No, it's a solid. Is it a solid though? Like the table's a solid, the, the spoon's a solid, it has a definite shape. Does this have its own definite shape? No. No, so it's not a liquid, it's not a solid. Hmm, what do you think it is? It has Look. a non-Newtonian state. Look at this! Oh boy. <laughs> Like, feels good. <laughs> Ready, Bray? You take one side. I'll take one and let's see how far we can stretch. All right. Oh boy. Take it, Caleb. Pull. Oh boy. That's some science at its best right there. Look at that slime stretching. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> That's some good slime. Holy cow. That is some good slime right there. Pumpkin gut slime. So not only did we carve pumpkins with power tools, we then took out the guts and not only made slime with it, but we also know why slime works. We know the science behind it. All right, so guys, oh, I have the time here. It looks like it's, um, oh no, what time is it? There's no button to turn it on. There's no batteries inside it. What are these things? Oh, I need to get sticks them in a pumpkin then it would work. What? How can a pumpkin possibly power a clock? These are pumpkins, Let's you guys. Let's try it. Okay, we'll put it in. Let's see. So you're putting the copper in, and you have zinc. Okay, is the clock on, you guys? No. Huh. So the clock's not working yet. We've got zinc in here and copper in here. Do we have a full circuit right now? No. No, we don't have a full circuit. Wait, I have a full socket. What? Oh, will that work? No, not yet. What if I said I also had this wire? But let's pay attention to the metals that are on here, okay? Caleb has copper in there, and Brayden has zinc in there, okay? Zinc has a negative charge, copper has a positive, so you always want them to go opposite. Put that one in there, Brayden. Let's keep an eye on that clock when Caleb puts this in here. And check that clock. <gasps> what? You made a full circuit? We just powered a clock? Using pumpkins? Did you not, did you guys know we could do that? No. I did not either until like two days ago. And then we can totally go and set the time. Wait, let me test. Wait, I want to see something. Did that plan work? Yes. 
Yes. It did. But so, I put them differently. Right, but do you still have a copper and a zinc in each pumpkin? Yeah. So you have a positive wait, and a wait, negative. I want to see what it would do if it was only. Oh, copper, copper, zinc, zinc. Did it it's, work? No. Do you know why? Because the copper and the zinc, they kind of talk to each other. They send their energy back and forth to each other, positive and negative. So right now, they're not talking to each other. And put that one in there. It didn't hmm. work. It didn't work. This one pumpkin does not have enough. Oh, oh wait a minute. Did it? It kind of, it kind of is coming and going. So it kind of has enough energy inside, but not as strong as if there was two of them, right? Look at you can kind of see. Yeah, it's like kind of weak. It's like I'm kind of here. I don't have enough electrical energy. So inside these metal poles, there was actually energy stored in there. It was chemical energy. And when we connected it in this circuit, we turned it into electrical energy. That's how we have electricity. Look at this. Maybe we go. Oh, no electricity. If this works on pumpkins, do you think it could work on other fruits and vegetables? Maybe. Like what? Grapes. Grapes? Should we try grapes? Do you guys want to go like raid the fridge and bring some things down and try them? Yeah! So the boys went and got some stuff from the fridge to see if this will actually power the clock as well. Keep an eye on that clock, guys. <gasps> what happened? Wait, Caleb, look it up. You got it, Caleb. Push it in a little more. Did it work? Yeah! What? Two apples can also power a clock? Maybe stuff round can power. Round things? You can try something else. Do another experiment. Let's do the cheese. Okay, we're gonna see if cheese can power a clock. Guys, <laughs> what? Guys? I didn't know this. I did not know that cheese could power a clock. All right, let's see what else works. So cheese works, apples work, pumpkins work. Oh, it was crazy. What do you want to try next? Grape. Grapes. Okay. Grapes it is. Guys, look at the clock. <laughs> Pumpkin versus grape. Is it gonna work? Guys? Wait, if we take this one out, still working. Why is that? Watch, watch Caleb's hand let go. Clock goes off, Caleb hold it. He was just eating the apple and he's got a lot of apple acid on his fingers. So Caleb is actually the third part of this electric current right now <laughs> because he's got acid from the apple on his fingers. Watch, when he lets go, watch at the clock. Let go, Caleb. It goes off. Hold it, Caleb. On. You have like magical powers, Caleb. Through the cheese, into the pumpkin. <laughs> it's got a lot of energy now. That's the brightest it's been. We'll check this out. <laughs> So cool. I so this is actually just a simple potato clock. We just ordered it on Prime. This actually works on most fruits and vegetables that have that acid inside help conduct the electricity in there. But it works on pumpkins, which is super cool. Can work on lemons, apples, tomatoes, soda. Wait, mom, let's try oh, soda. soda. Soda? Let's do it. Hold it in there and don't let it touch the other one, okay? Guys, what happened? It worked. What? Soda? Soda worked? Thanks for hanging out with us here at BK Playhouse Halloween Ooh, the Edition. Clock worked. The clock worked. So cool. Don't forget to give because us a like. I dipped my hand in soda. Then oh, I you're the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us here at BK Playhouse. We hope you enjoyed this Halloween edition. Give us a like, click subscribe, we'll see you guys soon. Have a great Halloween and goodbye. <laughs>